we have a trail here um, that ran parallel to the creek, and now it has been overtaken by the creek. Well, we've got uh, like an eroded um, silty cliff about uh, 10 feet deep that's just eating away at the trail, and it'll continue to do so at any high water event. It's definitely not a place where we can walk anymore, and we're not going to want to walk really very close to it at all because it's an unstable ground. They're built along the creek because people like to go to the creek, um, but we're going to try to come up with a more sustainable solution. In this case, uh, our trail will be much further away from the creek, but we're still going to have access points uh, for people to use the, the, the creek side. These are more passable now. For a while there, the, the water was all the way up to the level of the bridges. Last week, we could, we could only access certain points in the park. We've got some ruts that are 100 to 200 feet long. Uh, there's some pockets where there's holes uh, about three feet deep. So there's a decent amount of material that we're going to bring in to work on different sections of the parks. The condition of the bridges really hinges upon what we, what we do next. The bridge inspectors are coming out early next week to let us know the extent of the damage. But the creek actually has moved over about 10 to 12 feet and the channel is completely realigned um, and we've lost this section of trail. I think there was a little sandbar there before but you can see there's a huge deposit now. There's going to be some significant work here to get it safe for the public to use. I got an email about the volunteer opportunity here to help with some of the trail building. You know, I spent a fair amount of time in the open space, so, you know, it seemed like a, a great way to, to try and give a little bit back and figured it was a great opportunity to give back after the storm system that came through. The creek had kind of come through here and, and uh, rerouted the, most of the trail uh, in through this section, so looking to build up the trail bed a little bit, level out the surface, get ready to do some of the heavier machinery work, but improve the trail temporarily for now. I mean, we definitely moved uh, a lot of dirt and a lot of sand. Moved a lot of dirt. Definitely was able to clean up some of the trail, um, cover up some roots and some rocks and shore it up a bit. And uh, I think hopefully our efforts will kind of uh, pave the way for opening up this park uh, into the fall so people can come out and use it a bit.